Notice the emphasis on creep wood. Oh dear. Really, what's up with that hand? That doesn't look healthy. <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need a ship to get back to Elaine. This island looks, uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Sleep One. The winds! Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped! Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. Deep Gut? Worst pirate name ever. That's what my first thought was, but... Aren't guts more wide than deep? Yeah, let's be smart ass. Deep Gut? What's a deep gut? You don't deep really get an option with these conversations. Island news stories, and it's a good thing too. Without the guts, uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keelhaller Gazette would never be able to compete with those snooty prima donnas over at the Flotsam Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this deep gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. David J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. Ooh, a deal from a smug pirate news reporter journalist guy. Doesn't sound too trustworthy, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to. A deal? Yeah. Off Island news is nice and all, but the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid. You can translate that moxie into news making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter. Yeah, this will be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! <laughs> oh, that made me laugh the first time. <laughs> that hand is going to be such a troublemaker. And this is as far as I first played. So, everything from here is new. Come on. Get, look at the bro broken rowboat. Well, that's not gonna work. If I want to examine something, do I have to... Well, no. that's not gonna work. The examine thing doesn't do anything. That's fine. But, uh... During that video, when it was showing... Talking about the wind and stuff, going inward all the time... There was a flag showing. Could not read what was on it. I want to know now, though. Let's look at the sign. Attention! Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. <laughs> Fine. We'll go away, then. Ew. Printer's Inc. The lifeblood of the newspaper industry. Lovingly harvested from squid udders. Wait. Squid udders? Um... Moving on. Wind still sucks. Flotsam Island endures 1,138th straight day of unwelcome winds. Sounds like a tough place to live. And not a lot of uh, newspaper customers. Seems like a really small island regardless, but hey. Hey, Davey. Call me Nippikin, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. <laughs> What's, uh... He's not gonna just tell us, because he said so before. So let's ask what kind of news he wants. So, what sorts of swashbuckling do you go in for around these parts? Oh, we used to love all sorts of piracy here on Flatsom. Barely a day would go by without a good bar fight. 
gypsies and the buried treasure cropping up. Now it seems like all anyone wants to do is hang around and wait for the winds to change. Well, leave it to me and your sleepy little hamlet will be bubbling over with buccaneering boisterousness before you know it. Yeah, let's go. Bye. Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you. The Keel Hauler Gate. The Flotsam Keel Hauler Gazette. All the news that floats will print. I'm thinking we have to go into that uh, the pirate organization thing. I already forgot the name. Club 41, was it? I think we have to go in there and start a bar fight or something. That's my gut feeling, at least. Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the burr in the brig. Those eye carvings are creepy. That's definitely a puzzle. <laughs> That's puzzle written all over it. Ooh, a fancy building. From the jails, the flag, and the general air of perverted justice, I can only guess that this must be the Flotsam Island Courthouse. Oh, that was the flag. <sighs> Recycling logo on it, but... Die love. What? I don't get it. Let's look at it. Patchy. So this is a German island, then. Die Luft der Flotsam Saugen. Um, now, my German is not too great, but I'd expected a T there. Die Luft, the air, and then, um, yeah. Let's uh, never mind that. I know it's German, but I don't know what it means. <laughs> Ooh, a flyer. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan Le Flay, Pirate Hunter par excellence. Great, a pirate hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. Hmm. So, perhaps it's not a bar fight. Perhaps we gotta kick the pirate hunter's ass. That could be fun. This control scheme is still unusual, to be honest. Look at the pillar. Hmm. Carvings of mermaids. Or are they mermen? That's rather inconspicuous. Let's uh, go over to the last blower. Fine. <laughs> well, blow me down, glassworks. That's a rather interesting name, to be honest. Let's look at the sign. Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. <laughs> what? It's locked. Aw. Wanted to go in and get some free vowels. Come on. Walk around. Is there anything I can do here? Doesn't seem to be. Also walking with the W A S D and arrows keys, but oh, you can actually run them. And shift. No, that's fine. That works better. That works a lot better, actually. <laughs> Swordfish. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early creepy. I think it's a bit of both, to be honest. Scientific thingamabob. Okay. That contraption just screams mad scientist. Or at the very least, extremely miffed scientist. Mmm, <laughs> flowers. What a crummy sconce. Uh, I'd better pick this up before someone notices, um, trips over it. I was supposed to do that. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, look at the sign again. The doctor is busy. So let's trouble him. Sounds like he's busy. Ooh. That's the guy we punched earlier. Or, well, our hand punched it. This camera is weird. Come on. 